Yes, I'm Dr. Phil Cheatham, Director of Sport Technology and Innovation for the U.S. Olympic Committee. Well, I've been called the 3D guy because I've developed many 3D motion capture systems along my career. And 3D is more important than 2D. 2D is helpful, but not many motions are very linear. There's a lot of rotational type motions. And when it's a rotational motion, you have to use 3D. 3D means X, Y, Z. And so it's much more accurate because we move in a 3D world. Well, you think about the kinematic sequence, which is uh, the transmission of energy and speed from the ground to the club. And the golf swing is very rotational and some linear as well. So it's a mixture. So the kinematic sequence measures the rotation speed of your hips, rotation speed of your shoulders, swing speed of your arms, swing speed of your club. And we want to see a direct sequence of accelerations and decelerations. That can't be measured in 2D. Well, it's important to measure and it's important to know what the actual parameters, what the actual measurements are. You don't have to, you know, I hear this uh, an paralysis by analysis. I hear that all the time, but you don't have to feed all of that information back to your golfer. But you as an instructor, you need to know it. You need to be the filter. You need to take the measurements and know exactly what's happening and then turn it into golf cues. So the, the golfer, you don't have to say, oh, you were 45 degrees forward or you were uh, 115 miles per hour, because some of them like to know it. You got to know your golfer. If your golfer likes to know the numbers, fine. But if they don't, convert it to teaching and instructional methods and drills. Well, let me tell you, for the last 10 years, I've used the AMM system, which is a series of sensors and wires. So it's very, very accurate, but it's very restrictive. And it takes a long time to set up. And so in some respects, it becomes impractical. And in fact, that's one of the reasons that uh, AMM is, is not around anymore, because it was very difficult, time consuming to use. So I want to be able to liberate 3D. I want to democratize 3D. And to be able to do 3D just from an iPhone, literally rock up, set your iPhone up, film your swing, and get a 3D analysis, to me is amazing. Well, well, the difference now is what we've got is pose estimation and it's using artificial intelligence to put a stick figure on top of the human being, on top of the figure. So it's very exciting now that we can actually track the, track the motion of the human just using video and artificial intelligence. But one of the things that's cool about what sport, sport, Sportsbox is doing is they've created their own custom model. So now we'll be able to track many more points, 39 points, we'll be able to be much more accurate. We can look at the ankles, we can look at the feet, we can look at the hands, much more accurate, much more deep, uh, very excited about working with it.